the graph's native token called GRT going to the price of $5 during this bull run. Now, that may be hard to believe as of right now, and people may think, whoa, that's crazy. But I disagree because I believe that could hypothetically happen. And of course, nothing I say is financial advice nor a guarantee. But I think the graph is really that special because oftentimes people, they're focused on the price, but then they're not focused on the fundamentals. But I'm the opposite. I focus on the fundamentals because, man, its fundamentals are rock solid. And let me show you what I'm talking about. You know, the graph is an open source software that is used to collect, store, and process data from various blockchain applications. The benefit of this is to facilitate information retrieval, which is very important. So when people think that this is caca, I disagree. You know, after all, the main goal of the graph is to help developers use relevant data to help increase the efficiency of their decentralized application. So when it comes to the graph, again, it's trying to serve such an amazing purpose and it's not useless. So when people focus too much on the price, I just don't get it because fundamentals are really one of the best out there. The graph analyzes and gathers blockchain data before putting them into various indices, which in this case are called subgraphs. And this right here allows any application to send a query to its protocol and receive an immediate response. That's how revolutionary it is. And by the way, queries are posed through decentralized applications through something called GraphQL. So yeah, I think that should be taken into consideration. But besides that point, GraphQL, by the way, is a widely used language that was actually originally created by Facebook. So yeah, hashtag Mark Zuckerberg, if you know, you know, he's a big fan of the UFC apparently right now. But yeah, you get my point. It doesn't end there because I think that it should be noted how anyone could use subgraphs to power applications across 50 plus networks, which include Polygon, Ethereum, Moonriver, Moonbeam. I'm very bullish on those two. You also take a look at Harmony. I'm bullish on that. And of course, many others. But again, these are just the highlights. But even besides that, we take a look at how the graph is currently being utilized by popular Ethereum decentralized applications such as Aave, Curve, and even Uniswap as well. And as we all know, when it comes to Uniswap, it's a very popular decentralized exchange. So this is just the added cherry on top, if you know what I mean. Also on top of that, here are some crazy statistics. For instance, on the graph network and hosted service, there has been over 75,000 projects. I mean, that's insane. Also on top of that, there is over 1 trillion queries served. This is crazy. You know, I'm going to have to start speaking a little bit of Portuguese here. Caralho. That's how amazing it is. But besides that point, we take a look at on the graph network, there has also been over 100 indexer nodes. That's crazy, man. I mean, this is how impressive the graph is. It's the real deal, not financial advice, but I think the project overall is that rock solid. So is GRT going to the price of $5 crazy? I don't think so, especially with all that taken into consideration. It's not insane. Also on top of that, considering its current circulating supply, at that point, market cap would be around $48 billion. Come on, man. For instance, we saw BNB in the past reach over $100 billion in market cap. And is BNB better than this? Is it more evolutionary? I don't think so. You know, even according to Crypto.com research, just last year, slightly over 2% of the crypto hacks that happened actually occurred on the BNB smart chain ecosystem. Now, is that a great statistic, even though slightly over 2% may not seem that bad? I don't think so. I think it's very bad because when you consider just how massive the space is overall, this is a very bad figure again, in my opinion. So if something like BNB can reach over $100 billion of market cap, why can't GRT at least go to around $48 billion, You know, over 50% less than that. I don't think it's crazy at all. I'm not saying that GRT is going to go to like 80, 100 billion, again, right, just around 48 billion. It's not crazy at all. And some people out there, they may think, oh yeah, the bull run's over, you know, there's no future. I completely disagree. First of all, we take a look at how this isn't even supposed to be the peak yet for altcoins. Typically, altcoins, they peak anywhere between 6 to 18 months after a Bitcoin halving event. Now, the Bitcoin halving event happened back in April, so that's still some time. That's anywhere between October this year to October next year. So again, it's not like things are over even based off of history. You know, I've looked into history, that's why I know this. But besides that point, we even take a look at the trajectory in which Bitcoin is heading. I think better days are still ahead because you take a look at the hype for the Bitcoin ETF. You take a look at the number of institutional investors for Bitcoin. Man, this is all bullish news. I think that could very well allow Bitcoin to reach great heights. And hypothetically, I think it could at least go to the price of $150,000 during this bull run. And can you imagine if it does reach that, what's going to happen to altcoins? It's going to look insane. So I think GRT is going to go along with the right at that point and hypothetically go to the price of $5. And here's the thing. Some people out there think that, hey, are you going all in? Are you just dumping all in? No, that's not the case. I never do that. What I do is that anytime I earn income, 
I'm acquiring, I'm holding, and I'm just waiting. That's it. No day trading, no using leverage, no swing trading, none of that nonsense for me. That's just not what I do. You know, when it comes to any cryptocurrency that I own, that's just not my style. I like to keep things simple. Again, just acquire, hold, and I'm waiting. That's it. Because GRT at the price of $5 wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. I think it's that amazing. And man, I think this bull run could be that legendary. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. It's Malia the Captain. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.